Cameron Crow, we always hear the term buffalo nickel used. Well, what exactly does that mean? Buffalo nickel or big nickel? Essentially, Cameron Curl is replacing the nickel cornerback. And he is replacing him as a bigger player who can defend against the run with more physicality, with more strength and size. But also he's a player who you trust to be able to cover tight ends, running backs, maybe even wide receivers sometimes. And so the idea is to have that piece. It's it's kind of like a chess piece who is versatile, who can help you against the run so you're not entirely a nickel with maybe Jimmy Moreland, a smaller cornerback, typically a nickel, but you're not in your base with the linebacker who can get beat by these tight ends and these running backs and these receivers. So Cameron Curl right here is your Buffalo nickel, right? You've got your outside cornerbacks, Kendall Fuller, Ronald Darby. You've got Landon Collins as your strong safety. Troy Apke is your free safety. And then you've got Cameron Curl as your nickel, your Buffalo nickel, and he's lined up over top of Mark Andrews, the good Baltimore Ravens tight end. And then down here, you've got your two linebackers. So this is an example of Buffalo nickel. Nickel, just regular nickel, would be take Cameron Curl out and insert cornerback, Jimmy Moreland, whoever. So that's exactly what Buffalo nickel is. Now this play I want to show you, it's early on, week four against the Ravens. And this is Mark Andrews. He's a good tight end in the NFL. Rookie Cameron Curl is matched up against him. It's going to end up being a 10-yard gain, but it's pretty decent coverage by Cameron Curl here. Right, He tries to get his hands on him at the line. Mark Andrews kind of makes a good move. Curl does a decent job of recovering. It ends up being a 10-yard gain. Uh, not worse, though. You know, it's It requires a good throw from Lamar Jackson. If it's behind, then Curl is able to make a play on the ball. So Jackson makes a good throw, right? You see where he puts the ball, but Curl is on his back. It's impressive coverage for a seventh-round rookie in his fourth game against a tight end like Mark Andrews. Here he is again in that Buffalo nickel spot, and he does a good job this time staying on Lamar Jackson. No one in his zone, but staying up, running up, not leaving anywhere for Jackson to run, and then forcing him to throw the ball and ends up being errant. You see right here, no one in his zone, but he stays home, keeps his eyes on the quarterback, and once Lamar Jackson leaves the pocket, he's 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 running up. He's stopping him from going anywhere. And that forces this overthrow. And if he's not there in that spot, if he gets lost somewhere in coverage, Lamar Jackson's gonna run up here and get some yards. So good play there from the rookie. Here you have Curl on second and twenty three. Again, Buffalo Nickel, he's lined up, replacing one of those linebackers. He's here in man coverage against tight end Dan Arnold. And you imagine if John Bostick or Kevin Pierre-Lewis, a linebacker in coverage against Dan Arnold, that's a matchup in favor of the offense. With Cameron Curl, let's see what happens. Right, he's going to do a good job of staying level with them outside of his release and then just staying on him. And just a really good, just really good job running downfield with him. Again, this is why you like to use that Buffalo nickel because you have a safety in place of a linebacker who's physical, defend the run, but who's also quicker, faster, and can cover tight ends down the field like this. Plays like this show you why you want Cameron Curl on the field. Here he is again, Buffalo Nickel, and it's just a little pitch to the left. And watch him just blow up the left tackle and the tight end trying to block. Right here, 74 and 81 trying to block. And watch Cameron Curl just come in and just destroy all of that. Takes out two guys, ends up being a carry for one yard. There ends up being a penalty on the play anyway. But just physicality, this is this is the type of stuff football players do. Just attacking, just always attacking. And not really worried about their bodies. Again, I just want to see that one more time. Camera curl, here he is right here with the yellow sleeves. And watch them just, boom, attack upfield. Again, they're trying to 
pitch the ball to the left. They've got motion this way, trying to get the defense last second moving this way. And then get these blockers, Larry Fitzgerald and Daniels, and they're out as lead blockers. And Cameron Curl puts a wrench in those plans. Really good play. Here we've got Cameron Curl. This time he's not lined up as that Buffalo nickel defender. He's actually your strong safety in the box. right? You've got your free safety here. I believe that's the Shazer Everett. And then you've got your three linebackers. So this is a nickel. This is base. And Cameron Curl is your strong safety. And you love the way that he plays against the run. He's very physical. He has no problem getting his nose in there. Pretty good at finding gaps, finding holes, finding the ball carrier. And then good at tackling. I think he's a solid, strong safety. I also think he shows the range at times to play free safety. But he, he has no problem. He loves defending against the run. And you love to see that. Here he is lined up as your strong safety. Landon Collins suffers that injury. He's out for the season. And this is an end around, a pretty... Nice play by the Giants. Cameron Curl coming all the way across the formation from the other side of the field to make this tackle. Right, They're going to fake the bubble screen right here and fake this handoff and then actually get the ball into Sterling Shepard. It's a well-designed play. And so you see Shepard is here, Curl is here, and they're going to meet right about here. It's like the hustle. And I like the, the hit. I like the finish by Cameron Curl in this play. Third and ten here. And this is one of those situations where it's tough to tell. Is this cover four, right, where you've got four quarter field defenders and then a middle and then that right there? Or is this cover three where you've got your center fielder, your outside corner packs playing deep thirds, and then this right here with Cameron Curl playing down in the middle? It's tough to say exactly. Uh, but he plays it as though it's cover three or as though his responsibility is right here. But I think that may just be him reacting. You're going to see this. I believe that's Evan Ingram just kind of over the middle, and Cameron Curl's ready for it. He's waiting for it. And uh, I think if Daniel Jones did decide to, he's not looking that way. If he was, I think he maybe has an interception, right? You can see right here is, I think, Evan Ingram. There's Cameron Curl. And you can see Curl right here. He's ready to break on it. Right, it's third and ten. He is ready to break on that. Daniel Jones is looking this way. I just like that though. I like I like the vision there and in, in zone. And then stays in position to come up and make the tackle ultimately. Ball goes to Deion Lewis, third and ten. They only get eight. But it, it, overall I just like the way that Cameron Crow reacts on this play right there. See so he's ready to take away the quick hot slant. Doesn't go that way. Comes up to make the tackle on Deion Lewis. Jack Del Rio loves to send Cameron Curl after the quarterback. This time on a blitz, a strong safety blitz. He's lined up over that inside receiver, and he's going to do a great job on this play of just getting a free rush to the quarterback and then just making the sack. I have no idea how Daniel Jones holds on to this ball. But Cameron Curl does a great job here. This was a critical play, third and six. It's a really good play call by Jack Del Rio. I love the way that he he calls and disguises these blitzes. You see pre-snap, you've got six guys here. You don't know who is going to rush. Cameron Curl is going to he's going to show up from off the screen. Montez Sweat is going to drop. Cole Holcomb is going to drop, and then you're going to get this. And so they're going to end up rushing five against six and you're going to get a free rusher right no one sees Cameron Curl coming off the edge a really good play call perfectly timed play call and a perfectly executed blitz here he is again and run support just making that tackle saving a touchdown here I mean that's a really good tackle there on a big physical running back reacting so quickly he does Cameron Curl right reacting finding the hole he meets Samaj Piran right in there and then goes low. He's the low man. He wins, makes a good tackle for no gain. This is just a really good play here in coverage by Cameron Curl. It's not a big play, but it's a good play. Here he is, and he's just he's responsible for this flat over here. And Brandon Ayuk is just running a little out route into that flat. 
and it's just a really good coverage play. He is with IU step for step, but on top of that, I love that he's keeping his eyes on the quarterback while doing it, and you'll be able to see it from the other angle even better. His eyes are on the quarterback, but he's also keeping his eyes on Ayuk and moving with him. And here's Coral right here, and you'll be able to see it pretty clearly here. right? His eyes are on the quarterback. He's reading the quarterback. He sees that Mullins is looking his way. He's moving with Ayuk the whole way, and he's there all over him to break that up. That's just really good zone defense there from Cameron Curl. Simple play, but really good. Really good eyes, reaction, movement, finish. This is probably the biggest play Cameron Curl's rookie season. That's cover three. They're rushing five. And then you've got your zone defenders here. That's Cameron Curl right here. He's responsible for this area. And it doesn't get much easier than this. He does a good job staying his eyes on the quarterback, staying in his zone, guarding the only person in his zone. So there's not much for him to do. Keep his eyes on the quarterback. Nick Mullins makes a bad decision. Miscommunication. The fullback. Youth check starts to run up field. It doesn't get easier than this. This is a good reward for just doing your job well. Good for Cameron Curl. Eyes on the quarterback. Make the catch and then finish. Right? I do love that he finishes this. He cuts back inside. Gets a good block. Or doesn't cut back inside. Stays on the sideline. But I like that he turns this into a touchdown and not just an interception, not just some yards. A really good play by Cameron Curl. Didn't have to do much on this play, though. Cameron Curl will do whatever it takes to bring the ball carrier to the ground. There he is. You'll see it on this play. He's going to run up, fit the run, actually get blocked by a slipping blocker, but still makes the tackle. But you'll get a good look here of how he manages to make the tackle while being blocked, and it's, it's funny because if this is seen... It's actually probably a tripping penalty, but it's not. It's a smart play right here, right? Kind of over pursues. It's a good cutback there by Carlos Hyde. Curl's just going to stick that leg out, and there you go. Get him down, whatever it takes, <laughs> whatever it takes. It's a good play. It is a penalty if it's seen. Tripping is a penalty in the NFL, blocking, tackling, whatever it may be. But, hey, on this play, it works ends up being only a five-yard gain. And the next play, they force an incompletion on third down and get the ball back. So a good tackle here by Cameron Curl. Nice illegal tackle. This is some really good reaction speed and play recognition by Curl. Curl and Deion Hamilton right there. I mean, watch. He's moving to the ball at this point. All right, if we go back, the ball is snapped. It's in Russell Wilson's hands. And at this point, Cameron Curl has started moving towards where the ball is headed. That's really good recognition. And then between the two of them, they come up and they make a tackle for a loss of three yards. So some really good player recognition. And I love the reaction, and then I love the close and the finish. The two of them getting around number 74. Good play for a loss. Here are two plays back-to-back -back that say something about Cameron Curl. I'm going to show you here. Here he is against Chris Carson. He's coming up and run support, and he misses the tackle. It's about five or six extra yards gained because he misses that tackle. You'll see it again here. He is a pretty sure tackler. This time he misses it. All right, so let's go on to the next play here. Here's Curl right here, strong safety again. This is base 4-3. You've got your four down linemen, your three linebackers, your four defensive backs against Seattle's 12 personnel, two tight ends, one running back, and two wide receivers. And there's Cameron Curl again, strong safety, coming up and run support. And this time, he's not letting him get away. He drives him into the ground. He makes up for the last tackle he missed. And I love that right there. I love that he immediately makes up for that last mistake, that missed tackle. And that he takes out his frustration on that last missed tackle, that last play in this one. And really drives Carson to the ground. Really makes him pay. That's good stuff. That's really, really good stuff. Here's Cameron Curl again. Buffalo Nickel against Carolina's heavy personnel. And this play, I mean, this is impressive stuff and run support. You're going to see him cover about three gaps here and then make a tackle for no gain. And you'll be able to see it even better from this other angle from behind the quarterback. Right here's Curl. And watch him follow the ball carrier. 
one, two, three, come up and make that tackle again. I'm going to come up right in that A gap, follow him, B gap. He's going to make a jump cut. He's going to jump cut along with them, Cameron Curl is. And then there, come up and make that tackle for no gain on second and three. This is really good stuff. Like, this is really, really good stuff. I think lots of times what you'd see is a guy come in and, and he he gets caught up right there in that first gap, right? He gets up in here, and then next thing you know, the running back is headed somewhere else. Patience, vision, really good support, really good, just really good stuff there by Cameron Curl. Here we've got man coverage across the board, right? Single high, they're not trying to hide it. Cameron Curl lined up. One on one against Zach Ertz. Really good tight end in the NFL. Slant route from Ertz. You've got the single high safety, and then you've got this linebacker, Cole Holcomb, guarding the middle of the field. And Cameron Curl does a really good job on Zach Ertz. This is a good tight end in the NFL, right? Ends up with the interception. He throws off the timing of the play. He's real physical with Ertz at the line, gets his hands on him, throws off the timing, and by the time Ertz is able to get his head around, the ball is already at Cameron Curl, right? Hertz has got to get this ball to Ertz <laughs> before this linebacker here, Holcomb, can get in there, close this gap. That's what he's trying to do. He really he throws this ball on time, really. Maybe it's a little wide. It's tough to say, but Cameron Curl does a really good job in coverage. And then to catch the ball, not, not a really easy catch there. You're going to see <laughs> he just throws off the timing of the play. His coverage, his physicality affected the play, and that led to the interception. This is a really good play here. Seventh-round rookie guarding who has been one of the best tight ends in the NFL for a number of years. Comes away with the interception. That's awesome. 